welcome to Feeding Time. I am the big guy Ryback here at Greens and Protein in Las Vegas today. Got a nice spot in the shade. Apologize, my voice is uh, not the best. Um, that League of Fire Chug uh, version 2 Chug Challenge really burned my throat, did a number on me. That was one of the most intense things I've ever uh, taken part of. And I was totally fine. I say totally fine after throwing up, which I couldn't throw. I tried to throw up after literally five minutes after the video was over. I go, I got to try to get this out of me. It was, it was really, really hot. And I'd eaten before, but I didn't eat any bread. I should have eaten quite a bit of bread and some peanut butter. Uh, I got cramps pretty bad uh, about an hour of having to just sit and not do anything. It, it, if you know, you know. Uh, the capsaicin cramps and that stuff goes through you quick with the lime and the other stuff they have in it and I thought I was alright and then it hit me and then I had to go go get it out and then I was good um, but on, the, on that when I had to throw it up it's so hot it burned my throat I actually no joke I burned the back of my middle finger and that's also a fuck you to the Jeffries and Karens out there <laughs> All right, guys. I make greens and protein. I'm doing their impossible burger and sweet potato fries. This is a healthy eats meal, a healthy meal. My cheat meal is tomorrow that I will do, and it will not be anything like that McDonald's. Mm. They got some good sweet potato. Is that a hair? Oh no, it's a sprout. It's a sprout. There's sprouts on the burger. I'll tell you what though, guys. If it was a hair, I would have just pulled it off and eaten it anyways. I ain't a little bitch. You think that hair is going to fucking do anything to the big guy? Do you think it's going to do anything to you, Karen? Or do you just want to bitch and complain? Granted, if I found a cockroach in my food, I'd be I'd, I'd, I'd want to get it resolved. I wouldn't I wouldn't eat the cockroach. But talking about a hair, that was a sprout. It wasn't a hair. The Neanderthal. What do you think? You think I'm going to stop eating my meal because there's a little hair in it? These sweet potato fries are the star of the show so far. All right, so this burger, we got lettuce, cheddar cheese, tomato, onion, and sprouts. And another sweet potato fry. Oh, I should have got some ketchup. And then we got the Impossible Burger. Did they give me any ketchup? You cocksucker. I shouldn't say that. He did give me a free cold brew because he recognized me. People do recognize me. It was a good, nice kid. Gave me this free roasted, brewed, and bottled in Las Vegas. Um, Frankenbean. <laughs> I like the name already. I didn't even see that. Frankenbeans. Cold brew, just black coffee. Frankenbean. What a name. It's the simple things, guys. The simple things in life. Have a little sip of this Frankenbean. <sighs> That's really good. Very good. All right. I would have preferred a little maybe light mayo and some ketchup on this. And it's only going to go into my decision on rating this burger. But <laughs> possible burger from greens and protein. Don't bark next to me. I'm doing a food review. Oh, it's a big person. Don't walk. I might want my food. Two of them. She's not the big person.
really could have used a little ketchup and mayo on this. I'm doing a huge back workout. I'm gonna go home and do conditioning. Figured I'd do a healthy little meal next, next to the gym. The guy's in his car right next to me. Really just throws a wrench in everything. I will say, I noticed in the gym bathroom, I had to go drain the pickle a couple times. A lot of, lot of towels on the ground, all around the sink, water bottles. First time I went in there before I worked out, I'd wash my hands and I wasn't going to touch it. Because I wanted to pick it up. It was such a mess. One thing really chaps the big guy's ass. It's people that just do, that are lazy pieces of shit. There's a trash can, multiple trash cans in the bathroom. It's a beautiful gym, regardless of the place. Throw your shit away. Just pure laziness. And the people that do that, I would love to just catch somebody doing it. And just be like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Why do that when you can throw it away? Is that, is it somebody else's job to fucking hold your hand through life? Because life is going to beat the shit out of you. So anyways, when I went to the bathroom the second time, I picked it all up. That's embarrassing. Two people that work there, they I'm sure they go in there. If you see that and you work somewhere in the bathroom, fucking pick that shit up. Even though it's not your job to do it. You see somebody doing it, say, hey, man, throw your shit away. You don't got to get into it. Just say, hey, throw your shit away. Maybe that holds a little more merit coming from a guy like me. Because I could beat the fuck out of him. Oh, you can't beat me up. Yes, I can. Oh. I feel these going to my muscles as I'm eating. I'm getting fucking jacked. Carbo loading. I'm seriously filling out nice, guys. Tits, shoulders, back. You've seen my legs on my Instagram photos. People go fucking nuts for me posing fucking bananas. Speaking of banana, I'm wearing a yellow shirt. Let me give you guys a little insight. I like to be transparent with everything. Those photos... The one I posted with all the bananas, even the bananas going out of the screen. Let me give you guys a little insight into outrageous marketing. I'm not showing anything on that photo. But, had I just used a, those bananas came in the, the bunches, if I used one or two of those, image is still going to do really good. But if I take those bananas and I put them all the way down and it makes it look like I got a five foot dick, what do you think is going to happen? All the people with little dicks are going to get really mad. You don't need all those. And one, and so I do this for multiple reasons. I love to see the people expose themselves and say that. It's, well, duh, nobody has a five foot dick, guys. Like, nobody. It's not. Two, they click on the image and they help the Instagram algorithm expose it to more people. And then I get the people that like the photo, which is the majority. And then you get the people 
that don't like it. And they got it. My favorite is I don't want to see naked men. Well, Jeffrey, you clicked on the photo when you saw it on your feed. You can see on the feed that it was a photo of a man with no clothes on and a bunch of bananas covering his his banana. So you tell the Instagram algorithm that you do like looking at near naked men. And then you take it a step further and you comment on the thing. So now you're really telling Instagram that you fucking are digging this shit. And you want to see more of it. So then when you go onto your feed tomorrow, you get, you get another random photo of a guy nearly naked or maybe posing in his underwear after coming out of the swimming pool. And you gotta, then you gotta see his dick. He didn't even put bananas in front of it. But Instagram allows it because it's an underwear. I don't understand some of you guys. I really don't. That's like watching a gay porn and then commenting on the gay porn. This is disgusting. I hate all all gay people. I really particularly hated the, the moment at 17 minutes and 34 seconds of this film. Just disgusting. The fuck is wrong with you? 2020. These sweet potato fries are saved the day. There's a lot of sweet potato fries. I think they gave me extra. So anyways, guys, the reason why I do that, one, it shows my body for my supplements, feeding me more nutrition. I'm doing cash giveaways every week. It helps fall into the algorithm and get more exposure. And I'm not, I'm not showing anything bad. There's always a method to the madness. I'm also going to put in the comments. I just gave out $1,000 again last week. This week is $1,250. In two months of my protein and finish your BCAA. Discount code MONEY1250. But I'll put all that in the comments. So check out that contest. It ends Friday, uh, August 7th here. Just giving out cash for COVID. I just talked, I had Santino Morella on my podcast, The Ryback Show, this week. Go subscribe if you're not, please. Trying to get that show into the top 10. I need your guys' help because you guys are the ones that can do it. I can't. I'm going to really start marketing the show, too. I've been all about the supplements, but time to get the podcast in the top 10. almost got two of those because I didn't know. <sighs> Done. Oh my eye. <clears throat> All right, guys. So that was the greens and protein um, here in Vegas. That was their impossible burger with sweet potato fries. On a scale of one to five, sweet potato fries are a five. Those things were delicious. Two thumbs up on those. The Impossible Burger. I would say... I don't not enjoy any meal. Like, every meal I say is my best meal. Because I'm grateful for the food. But that wasn't the best Impossible Burger that I've had yet. It might have been the healthiest, though. With the wheat bun. The sprouts and tomato and lettuce. Little cheddar cheese. I'm giving that a three. I'm giving that a three point six out of five. Lowest rating here on feeding time yet. Not bad though. I think if it had a little bit of ketchup on it, and I, my fault, I didn't get any condiments. I I take the blame on that. I didn't know. I, I don't know why. Um, the last time I ate it, greens and protein from Phoenix, they gave the condiments. They gave us ketchup packets, but I was in this in there. 
and I'm outside of it, but I'm just figured, you know, eat it without it. We'll see. Now I know. Next time I get that, I'll get. I'll ask for a little bit of light mayo and uh, ketchup, <clears throat> or if you like mustard. I definitely think get condiments on it if you like. But if you like just dry burgers, um, it was still juicy though. It was it was cooked good, so it wasn't a lost cause. I didn't hate it by any means. It just wasn't the best that I've had. So three point six and about that. Maybe even maybe even this thumb is a little. I don't know why I do thumbs up at all. It's really impossible. I'm giving you the number already. So then it's just me guessing where I think my thumbs should go. And that's two and a half stars. So that has to stay all the way up. Let's figure the, the psychology of this. So from here to here is, is 2.5. So I gotta go like somewhere like, so that's 2.5 still. Right there, there we go. It's official, it's official, it's official. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please be good human beings and uh, throw your towels away in the bathrooms. Hold yourself accountable for everything you do. It's just a mindset thing. If you want to do big things, you got to do the little things right. And every little thing adds up. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching this Feed Me More TV episode. To check out my podcast, The Ryback Show, and The Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report, please support us over at Patreon, patreon.com backslash Ryback. We have two different tiers available over there for both those shows. Feed Me More Nutrition available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. All first-time buyers can save 25% on the website with discount code SAVE25. And for all personal videos from yours truly, cameo.com backslash the big guy Ryback. Thank you guys again. Love you very much. Get hungry, stay hungry, be more. Feed me more.